What's going on Auckland people? This is MJ once again coming at you live and direct with another Visual Base Media episode. Now joining me today ladies and gentlemen is a very very special dancing artist I must say. He's moving up through the ranks so without further ado we're about to go and check this guy out. So come on. Eddie my man. What's going on brother? How's things? It's pretty good eh? Yeah, tired. Pretty good. <laughs> now I hear you've been busy haven't you? Yeah I've been choreographing and teaching a lot lately. It's been pretty hard. Got a few injuries. Okay. Yeah. Injuries is always good though. Uh, well known factor. Uh, for the viewers out there, uh, this is Eddie, a very well known uh, dancer, also choreographer. So, um, anyway, bro, how about letting uh, our viewers know out there where you're from and uh, what actually inspired you to uh, pursue dancing? Um, I'm from Wellington, um, down south. And um, that's where I actually met my first inspiration, um, Patrick Godden. He um, is the person who runs Sound Vision down there. Sound Vision is a dance company that is spread out both in Wellington and in Auckland. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And um, just by off the cuff, um, how long exactly have you been dancing for? Um, three and a half years by now, actually. Uh, okay. Started off my first two years in college back in 2009. Um, just learning off YouTube really, the tutorials, taking some moves off friends. Nice, as um, you do. And at the end of 2011, I took my first Sound Vision class with Pat. Um, and from there, I was just hooked, man. I, I just, I was just. You can't mad get off the boat, can you? Um, moved back up here for my second year of uni, and that's where I started training with um, the Auckland dancers here at Sound Vision. Okay. Um, and that moved me to City Dance, right. uh, where I currently work. I'm right. a teacher there. Um, and I started training with both Joseph Ling and Andrew Jones. Um, and what I particularly admired was Andrew Jones in the way he um, combined ballet concepts and jazz concepts into his choreography as well. Right, right. So it really broadened my, my mind and now I'm doing ballet as well and jazz. Wow, and, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Well, I was actually going to say something uh, about you guys. You're kind of dressed like a bit of a b-boy. <laughs> but uh, you're actually an all-rounder dancer, aren't you? Like you don't just, uh, you're not just a hip-hop dancer. Um, you actually do a little bit of ballet, which you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. And uh, so tell us, what other dancing styles do you uh, actually um, teach? Uh, well, I, I formally teach hip hop, that's what the title is, right. but um, that leads really into uh, my style because every card has a different style right. and perspective and perception of what hip hop is. Yep. Um, I take my influences and my inspirations from Andrew Jones okay. um, because I admire his dancing and his choreography, and so a lot of my choreography kind of looks a lot like his or um, takes the same approaches as he, he does, even though I can't really say it because I'm not right. him. But, okay. Um, and we're yeah. actually about to, um, well, soon enough, uh, you're actually going to get to show our viewers out there a little bit of your dancing style, <laughs> but not, 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 not as of yet, but soon enough. Okay, so um, we get to check out um, Eddie's dancing style and um, hopefully capture the viewers out there in this little web of deceit. Um, all right, bro, the, um, now while you were growing up, who was your biggest influence? As in the dancing uh, resume, such as your, did you have like a upbringing with Michael Jackson, or were you more like the Prince, or um, what was your background in the um, influence When I was there? growing up, dance was considered gay. It was considered something that was not manly. Right. Um, however, I was really influenced by, um, by MJ, definitely, definitely Michael definitely. Jackson. Definitely. Yeah, um, but I didn't pursue it because of the, the, the social um, stereotypes of what dancers are. But um, I picked up my manhood and I started <laughs> off back in 2009. Nice, nice, awesome. And now also um, hear that you're dancing for quite a few other uh, dance crews that are based in Auckland, don't we? Um, yeah, um, I danced with Hopscotch back in 2012. Okay. Um, we competed in the Street Dance New Zealand National Champs. I oh. uh, came second, um, wow. which is pretty good. Yep. Um, and tell me something, did you win a big medal or a oh, bit of a trophy? It was a trophy, but it wasn't really glass. It was more like glass, but it's plastic. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> nah, it's it a big no no. It's got to be glass or gold. It looks good though. Okay, sure. and did you guys perform here in Auckland or were you guys pretty much touring around New Zealand? Um, I joined in when we um, developed the Mega Crew and okay. it was just here in Auckland in the Auckland Champs. Right. Um, however, I have a few other crews like um, I dance with a crew called Goku, which is what we've been Go Goku? Or? Go, go Crew. Oh, Go Crew. <laughs> kind of like Goku from Dragon Ball Z. but um, Ah, like Dragon yeah. Ball Z. That's right, that's right. Um, so for the Dragon Ball Z lovers out there, if you like Goku, unfortunately this isn't Goku. He's part of the Go Crew crew. Bit of a tongue twist at that one. Yeah. Awesome, cool. So, um, and, and you've been dancing with them since 2000 and... Uh, we formed them last year. Okay. I think, or before that, I guess. Um, it's very casual. We, aren't, we don't compete. We're not a fan of competition. Okay. Uh, we just do it for the fun and for the passion. It was just what Hopscotch is also about. 
Awesome, awesome. Yeah. I guess that's um, part of dancing, isn't it? It's all about the way you feel. Mm. You get to express, you know, different kind of uh, emotions, what's going through your mind and through your body. Yeah, that's what dance really is to me. It's more of, um, it's, in my opinion, it's an outlet. It's my yep. way of um, expressing my emotions and my experiences. Right, so right. if I'm sad or angry, um, I curry or just dance to a mirror or a glass reflection and I right. just dance it out really. It's my way of, um, of really showing what's deep down inside and yep. just expressing it. Definitely, definitely. All right, bro. Um, tell me something. With the uh, New Zealand uh, dance crews that are based here in Auckland, is there any favorite groups that you have um, in mind? And if so, why? What draws you to their type um, of style? The old crews or like... Just... Any crews. Do I have one favorite crew? Or... Yeah, do you have like a favorite crew that's based here in Auckland? Um, definitely, uh, Prestige right there. Prestige. Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ. Um, they're just they're just such a big inspiration. They, um, in my opinion... And, and they've I also... Think... Um, They've also performed at quite a few um, world hip hop championships, yeah. haven't they? And they've also won. Um, oh, I do believe that uh, Jay Williams, a very well known New Zealand artist, also, um, he used to be a part of the crew, and I do believe that he still has uh, you know affiliation with them. Mm, yeah, definitely. Um, prestigious. They they set up the New Zealand dance scene, like right? Them, um, apart from TNC and other amazing dance crews, right? Um, but Prestige definitely that's on my top. Okay. I also had a, a bit of a favourite um, back in 2011. I actually took a liking to uh, to Sweet and Sour. Oh, definitely, definitely. Those boys can move, man. Those boys can move. So, do you reckon you'll be up there with Sweet and Sour? Oh, or? definitely not. Um, there's no way I can live up to someone. Oh, like okay. That. Like, I was taught by um, Hats. He um, he taught me back in the day, um, and he was he's such an inspiration as well. Like he's got all this knowledge and yeah, he's done so much for the New Zealand scene. Man. Awesome. Wow. Well, wow. Well. All right, uh, Eddie. So, um, for the viewers out there, is there is there a, a future in this for for you as a dancer? Is there anywhere you want to take this? Do you want to go to like a higher level with dancing? Do you want to take it overseas, or do you just want to pretty much stay based here in New Zealand? I'm still very much at the start of my journey. Okay. Um, I still have a lot to learn. I'm yep. still very uh, how do you say a beginner at, um, at dance, um, and I have just I always learn every day. I never I'll never stop learning. I can right. never say I've learned everything. Um, I do want to take my craft overseas um, to dance in America just to see what it's like. Um, but just really dance it. I like to have fun. And hopefully go on that, that show that they've got uh, uh, airing over there. Oh, I think it might be out now, but the um, America's Best Dance Crew. <laughs> if I'm good enough. Man, those, <laughs> some of those dance crews over there, my goodness, they do moves that you wouldn't even think of doing. Yeah, they're pretty crazy up there. Crazy, crazy, wild, crazy. Actually, I can do some of those moves. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I can't. Oh. But you're going to teach me though, right? Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Come awesome. to class, come to class. Come okay. to city dance, man. City dance? Yeah. So, um, so give the viewers out there where you guys are um, located. Um, and um, where based... else can they check you guys out? Oh, definitely. Um, we're based in Central, um, on Queen Street, uh, the McDonald's, which is right above that. It's right at the center. Okay. Um, of the right in the middle, actually. And it's, there's a window. There's a window. There's a window. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a window. Yeah, there's a lot of amazing dancers. Okay. Um, me and Andrew Jones, Joseph Ling, Julie, oh, so many amazing dancers, and they're just inspirational. Okay, and you guys have a Facebook page there where people um, can yeah, check you guys out? Definitely. Um, on Facebook, search up City Dance. Um, there's a picture of this lady in a white background. Um, it's the best way to really recognize it. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, uh, Eddie, uh, just in closing, I've, I've got to ask this question. Um, now, for the up and coming uh, dancing artists out there, is there any words of advice, you know, for the younger ones or even for the older ones that you may want to pass on to them as, uh, you know, taking dancing into a, a future career? Um, to be honest, I mean, the, I can only use what my friend or and a lot of other people would actually tell me. It's really simple and it's quite too simplistic actually. Right. Um, it's just be you. Um, there is no better way of saying that dance is you because every person is different, every person is their body. Um, different natural way of dancing. Um, don't let influences um, kind of inspire you. Take take your own take on things rather than like copying things on YouTube. Or, right. Um, you know, come In other words, be original. Yeah, basically. Be original. Just like take everything from down there. You know, yeah. Just, like, instead of trying to grab and copy other things. Exactly. Like, and just keep pushing, really. Just like never give up. <laughs> that way. There's the. Uh... There's, a, there's, there's those uh, very famous words, people. There's uh, never give up on your dreams. Um, it's our young man Eddie here just mentioned. Uh, so pretty much sharpen your tool, keep practicing, and stay focused. Don't take no negativity from anybody. 
Uh, to succeed, you've got to do what feels right up here. But in the meantime, bro, thank you again for um, yeah. for joining uh, the base media. Thank awesome, you. man. Awesome. Big inspiration on the um, dancing world side of things. So um, without further ado, bro, how about that uh, that dancing session that you're about to show us? Might as well. Might as awesome. Well. So you there have it ladies and gentlemen, this is MJ signing off once again with another Visual Base TV episode with my man's here, Eddie the Dancer. So you there have it, peace up, A-Town down. See you.